everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitzenberger, aka the janitor from Cars Illustrated Magazine. Now today we're going to do a simple install video on all the American coilover kits for GMA bodies 68 to 72. Now we've got this great little 68 Chevelle right here owned by a friend of mine, Rod, so it's that simple. Let's get started. Now as far as the rear is concerned, it's pretty easy. You have these nice brackets that are already fabbed up by Alden and they're powder coated. They bolt right onto the back of the rear control arm and of course you got your coilover shock. Now the only modification you have to do is on the upper mount for the larger hardware and then you can just slap them in and repeat and rinse on the other side. So if you're ready to start, let's go. Yeah, maybe we should get to work. Well, it's about that simple. The bracket goes in the top. We drilled that out. Uh, Rod will throw the, the bolt in there. I hand him a nut and washer. Isn't it exciting? So exciting! All right, right from the bottom. Oh, right at the bottom? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now one of the things we found out, little tidbit on this kit, it was really well engineered, but one of the things you do have to do, because of the fitment that they have on the bracketry, we did have to drill out some of the powder coating on the mounts just to make sure everything bolted together nicely. And then this one, I think we had to fight here. Okay, it should be, you gotta go up. Or, no, no. A uh, little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, should be good. Pop that through. All right. Nut and washer, tighten it up. Rinse and repeat on the other side. Let's move to the front. Ooh, front. Hey, look at them. They're pretty. All the American. Okay, let's be serious. Next step, front shock. Pretty simple. Spring cup. Spring. So you can still see the old and American right there. Okay, whatever. Throw a bushing on the top of this thing, and we hand it off to my friend Rod here to put it up through the front area there. Mounting bolt on the top, then we get the two mounting bolts on the bottom, and we should be good to go. Just got to jack it up and kind of finagle it a little bit. Come on! How do you feel being on camera, Rod? It's always fun to help you out, man. Boy, the enthusiasm. I can feel it. I can just <laughs> feel it. That's yeah, because I'm doing the work and you're not. <laughs> anyway, back to the filming. All right. Yeah, I think what we want to do here is put these bolts in from the top. You want to let, let everything down first. Okay. All right, so let's place these in here. Okay. Is it line stuff up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me get my arm up in there. Okay. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on, baby. Well, I'm one out of two. That right one fought me a little bit, but it should be. There it goes. There. Okay. There. Grab the nuts. Nuts and bolts. 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 Frank and beans. Little Same what about thing. Mary? Little what about Mary reference there? There you go. All right, All right ready to go. Well, it's about that easy. Get the front shock mounted. Of course, then we have to reattach our lower control arm, our sway bar, our brakes, and of course our backing plate for the spindle. Now. One of the things you have to realize is you're going to have to eventually adjust the ride height. We'll get to that in a second with the spanner wrench. But for now, we're going to get the other side done, get it all wrapped up outside, looking pretty. Well, that's about as simple as it gets. We use these two very high-tech tools to set the ride height front and rear. Obviously, the spanner wrench and a little tape measure. Love the attitude of the car. Love the look of the car. And you know what? Rod's happy with the way it rides. All we got to do is get it to the track. That'll be in a future video. If you want to know more information about Alden American, go to their brand new website, AldenAmerican.com. Of course, you can check out what we're doing at CarsIllustrated.com. Check out our Facebook, Instagram, and all the other social outlets. Until then, it's three simple words, street, race, life.